How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Sorry if my eyes look a little bit funny, like my hay fever is going crazy right now. My allergies are just driving me mad, and if it looks like I'm crying, <laughs> it's probably because I am. <laughs> We love to buy things as as a nation, don't we? We just love seeing a good deal. Especially if it's for a piece of equipment that could potentially change your life. What am I talking about? I'm talking about infomercials. They are the best. I love nothing more than staying up late at night and just watching these terrible products and and seeing every effort being made to sell them to me. <laughs> Today, we're going to be looking at compilations of the worst infomercials ever, as requested by you guys. Let's watch a video! Hey, yes. you know the gazelle can help your love life? No, I didn't know how. Okay. Don't get afraid now, I'm gonna put my foot oh. underneath your heel, okay? <laughs> and we can do that. This is, this now she's trapped. <laughs> Props to the guy! Like, that's an amazing pickup technique. I'm gonna try that at the gym next. He's like, look, she can't run anywhere! She can't run! <laughs> Tony, can I say one more thing? You can say anything you can want, I please? Why are they so hyped? <laughs> it's like before the cast come on stage, they just inject them with adrenaline. Tony, can I say one more thing? You can say anything you can want, I You can say anything you want, darling! <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Get up, get up. Oh, yeah, you can do it. Come on, you guys. Quick, lean back, quick, lean back. Come on, Tanya, come on, Christina. Come on, Rob. You can do it, you can do it. Pick up the phone. Do you want to know what's wrong with this? Every single one of these people are fit. They're all physically fit. Where's all the people my size on there that would actually need to use these things? Ouch. Stubbed your toe in the middle of the night? Stumbling around in the dark is dangerous. Don't turn on the light and wake up the whole family. Now there's Bright Feet, the high-tech house shoes that light up... <laughs> God, an actual slipper that has a torch in it. <laughs> High tech house shoes. <laughs> the secret is Bright Feet's built in light sensor. There's no buttons to turn on or off. Bright Feet are fully automatic. The how, how, how does that light the way? <laughs> I mean, it, it, that, that look of the house is bright enough as it is. You d it's just you don't really need that extra little bit of light by your toe. They automatically turn off when it's light or turn on when it's dark. They're smart slippers. Bright Feet also have a built-in weight sensor, so they only work when you're wearing them. Don't pay over $40 for a pair of old-fashioned slippers. $40? Who pays $40 for slippers? If you pay $40 for slippers, you're mad. Hi, I'm Joe Gray with the Gojo Hands-Free. The only device on earth that's truly hands-free. Is his name Joe, and did he name his product after himself, the Gojo? Is that what happened? In 1995. Hi, I'm Joe Gray with the Gojo hands-free. Yep, Joe Gray made the Gojo. <laughs> you can't get more egotistical than that, can you? The only device on earth that's truly hands-free. The Gojo goes on with one hand, so you can keep your eyes on the road. It is so simple. I love it. I don't have to keep my hands on my cell phone. I don't have when you can't afford a headset to talk to your friends on Call of Duty, <laughs> so you tape one to your face. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine walking around with a phone just stuck to your face. Worry <laughs> about it. These things are not hands free. You stick them in your ears, gross, but you still have to hold your phone. No, you don't, because you can just press the button and answer it. And yes, the Gojo will hold the weight of your phone. Even the weight of a five pound laptop. <laughs> <laughs> this is revolutionary. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? Nothing, mum. Just watching porn. <laughs> oh, God. He's just exp He's just found a whole new way of playing Fortnite with his friends. Just tape it to your face. Any phone, big or small, even the most radical moves won't knock it off. Great, now I can do uh, back somersaults whilst talking to my friend. That's always been a problem. Hard to store, hard to handle, heavy hoses always end up tangled and kinked. What a mess. Introducing the pocket hose. The hose so small it fits in your pocket. Just turn on the water and watch this mini hose grow and grow and grow. Now I've actually got one of these hoses uh, and they're actually good. 
Um, I don't know why this is on the compilation. They're so good. Like, they're just, they've replaced, like, normal hoses now. Get right on the water spout. Store it with your garden tools or just keep it in your pocket. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to keep a hose in your pocket. Imagine getting, like, stop searched and you just got a hose in your pocket. How do you explain that? Junior can help. The pocket hose fits in the palm of your hand, and it's strong enough to pull this 5,000-pound SUV. For Christ's sake. <laughs> That's why you keep the hose in your pocket. That's why. Crack them like this or you crack them like that, you're going to end up with a real mess. Hello from Wendy and... <laughs> Hello, Wendy! <laughs> I love that. That's going to be my new intro from now on. Hello, Dazzlers! <laughs> the Easy Cracker. Now you can crack eggs quickly and... It looks like a circumcision tool. We just overcomplicate it. You, you just tap it on the side and boom, it's done. You can do it with one hand. It's not that hard. Without all the drop shells. Whenever I crack an egg, there'd be a mess on the stove, a mess on the counter. Well, they do. <laughs> they do if you do it like that. If you just go. <laughs> Come on. Uh, and eggshells in my quiche. <laughs> Eggshells in my quiche! <laughs> mess on the stove, a mess on the counter, and eggshells in my quiche! <laughs> eggshells in my quiche! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I love this woman. I, I love this woman. The special attachment makes it easy to whip up. Why is she getting so violent? <laughs> she's so passionate. She's so full of passion for her product. She's about to punch someone. The special attachment makes it easy. Special attachment, bruh. The special attachment, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> to whip up a healthy egg white omelet or use the yolk to make pudding. Wait! Wait! Man, they must have got Wendy. Wendy, come here. Before you go on, I want you to drink 50 Red Bulls. We're gonna sell the hell out of this product. There's more. Order now, and I'll throw in the easy scrambler just for you. That's a plunger or a douche, one or the other. I don't know what that is, Wendy. Every time your cell phone rings, you've got to find it and then pick it up. Oh! Oh! Life is hard. Do you know, it's so hard when your phone rings and then you got to go and pick it up. I mean, come on. I mean, it's just hard. Life is hard. Forget little Tuzil who has to wake up in the morning in Africa and walk five miles just to get a drink. Her sister's already been eaten by a crocodile. We have to answer our phone. <laughs> to see who's calling and if you try to prop it up so you can see it your cell phone's constantly falling well who does who does this who does this if i'm watching tv with a date or something uh we're trying to netflix and chill and she's too busy trying to prop her phone up against a lamp i'm not gonna be with her you can get your cell phone off its back and let it sit up where you can see it with happy sack <laughs> no <laughs> they didn't. They didn't make it. They did not make that and call it a happy sack. So basically, <laughs> now they've made a ball bag for your phone to sit in. Just place your phone on happy sack and you'll always see you <laughs> calling without having to hunt for your phone. Cell phones can get lost in the clutter. But of calculators! How many calculators does this man have? must be terrible at math. Your cell phone without searching for it. Happy Sack also holds iPods, MP3 players, and gaming systems. Even your GPS sits up, so you'll see every turn. Happy Sack is- You'll see every turn! <laughs> Whereas before, you just couldn't. You couldn't have a sat nav, could you, without this bean bag? The new cushy bean bag in your choice of black, pink, or zebra. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Do you know what's missing from this collection, sweeties? Okay, we've got black, love it, pink, who doesn't? But there's no zebra. We need zebra in this collection, people. I don't know, I, I'd love to be there at the board meetings for this stuff. Has this ever happened to you? Yep. Yep. Introducing the Slob Stopper. Forget- <laughs> What did you call it? <laughs> the Slob- <laughs> The Slob 
Stopper! What? That sounds like a sex toy. No, this doesn't exist. Messy spills and unplanned accidents. Just slip it on and enjoy your busy lifestyle. <laughs> it's a bib for adults. <laughs> no, no, this is fake. This can't be real. Perfect for your commute and everyday use. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's going to be really attracted to a guy in a car. <laughs> Drinking like this. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I, I got some Pepsi on my bib. <laughs> Polyurethane laminate fabric, the slob stuff. Made with what? Polyurethane fabric of fabric. On one side and is waterproof on the other. Don't worry about covering up stains anymore. Go to slobstopper.com and order. She looks like she's about to perform a tonsil operation on her children. Come on. Come on. This is not real. This does not exist. <laughs> Today, Slob Stopper, bibs aren't just for babies. <laughs> they went there. They, <laughs> they went there. Oh, God, I need one. I need a Slob Stopper. Now I have to get one. Hot dogs. They're as American as baseball and apple pie. But what makes a hot dog more than just a hot dog? Introducing the Happy Hot Dog Man. It brings ordinary hot dogs to life, making lunchtime more fun. Or cannibalistic. How can you eat a sausage that's been sculpted to look like a person? Oh my god, <laughs> this is horrendous. Into the Happy Hot Dog Man and close the lids. The Happy Hot Dog Man makes a happy imprint on your hot dog. Now you're ready to cook it into a fun Happy Hot Dog Man. <laughs> now you've made it look adorable, let's boil it. <laughs> Figure that can be decorated and eaten. It's like a toy you can eat. At <laughs> it's like a toy you can eat. Because we want that, don't we? We want to eat our toys. The amount of times I got my action man, I was like, ah, God, if only I could eat him. <laughs> well, it's cheese. Make them any way you please. The Happy Hot Dog Man is so easy to use. All right, guys, uh, that was uh, me watching the worst infomercials. There are so many of these, so leave a like. Um, not only if you want me to do another one of these Daz watches on this, but if also if you enjoyed it, it just lets me know. Like, love, caress my channel. The merch. Oh, God damn it. Merch link in description. I will see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. <laughs> Your time is up.